Hi, this is Dr. Don. I want to show you briefly how to do some of the basic things you need to do in the fourth assignment. The first question says that FAST is advertising the mean salary of programmer ones at 65000 Connie has gotten some feedback that some employees think the ad is misleading because they think the salary mean is not 65000 So you have to check to see if you can verify the employee's claim. And we're given a standard deviation of $7,000, which is a big clue that we should use the Z test. And because we just have one sample of salaries, it's a one sample Z test. So let's grab the data. There are a number of ways to grab the data using pivot tables. So I'm just going to show you using basic Excel data sort. So I'm going to go over here and click on first the job title column and select that whole column. And then I'm going to go to data sort. And it'll say, do you want to expand the selection? And yes, because I want to get all of the information. And so it's now sorted, and it's alphabetical. One way you can just scroll down until you see the programmers. And there's programmer 2. I'm going to go up, 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 up. There's programmer 1. OK, there we go. And if I go over here, I'm going to find that row. And see, that starts the programmer 1s. And then I'm just going to drag down until I have highlighted all the programmer ones. And then I'm going to right click copy. And you can see the marching ants. We've selected those rows, which includes the names and salaries. I'm going to go over here to question one calculations. And I'm just going to click a cell, right click, paste the numbers. And now I've got the basic data I need. Now all I need to do is to go get my one sample Z test. I'm going to go over here and find it. And I'm just going to slide it across, relocate it next to my number one data cow, excuse me. And now I can just get the salaries here. Control C to copy that. Go into my test. Control V to paste in the data. So we've got the basics there. We need to put the null hypothesis in, which is 65,000, I think. And our significance level is 0.05, typically. And I think the standard deviation we're given was 7,000, but you guys check that. And enter, and then that does it. You just need to interpret the output. I hope this helps.